<laughs> hey everybody, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. My man. It's been way too long. I had to I had to I had to supplement a new fucking podcast, which is gonna come out to uh Monday. This one's gonna come out Saturday, and that one's gonna come out Monday. But uh by the time they see this one, by the time they huh, say what? We got a lot of catching up to do. We do got a lot of catching up to do. I ain't even got no list, bro. So I ain't talked to you in and it's been a it's been a what damn near a month now. A month we haven't talked, two months since we did the recording. Yeah, we was kept like we we were checking in on each other, but we ain't sat there and actually like talk, talk. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Nice. Nice hit Oh yeah, parental advisory suggested. This gonna be a lot of bullshit. Mm-hmm. Hold on. I got a new chair. I can let it up and down. Hold on. See? I got a new chair. Yeah, you gotta do the low low thing, bro. Yeah, I know. Hold on. I'm gonna do it. That's why I said I got uh. <laughs> Yeah, no, I was when I seen bro, I spent ten dollars for this. I seen it at the uh, thrift store. Like the other one I had was nice, but it, it leaned and shit, and it got uncomfortable. I couldn't, I couldn't sit and be comfortable in it. Yeah, like no, I can, I can chill. Like the other one, I couldn't lean back in. None of that. But uh, all right. Welcome we back can. to the. Say what? When we come back, we'll probably have to uh, do a shining cheese. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, that's coming out Friday. Welcome back to the Lunar and Professor Podcast. I'm your host, Lunar Neos, and my boy from another, my man, Professor. So, how you doing? What up? We've been, uh, what up? What up? yep, it's been a long little minute. It's been a little minute. It's been too long. It's been too long. I even I even had to go MIA for a little bit. Like uh Brian got sick, had to be there for him. Then I, I had to go uh had to check my checkups and stuff. So it was uh it was all over the place last month. Yeah, uh same thing on my side. How how's how's family, your daughter? I had a family vacation with my with my daughters and how's she doing now though? Family. She better? She's good. She's good. Uh, we're gonna have a uh, surgery scheduled in here in October. So surgeries in October. Yeah. Okay. So okay. It's being vague, but it's an appendix. But yeah, pretty much it. Okay. Okay. That's good. Uh, That's she's good. healthy. She's good. And uh, but right now she's uh, I think we said there's. They live in Louisiana, so they're uh, out of harm's way for now. Say what? You kind of muffled. They they're in Louisiana, so they're out of harm's way right now with the hurricane going. Okay, so they so you had them for an extra two weeks. Uh, extra week and a half, about. Is a week and a half. Yeah, about so. Well, tell her. I don't know if she watches this, but tell her. I, uh, we was praying for her. Everybody back here in Alabama, the South got her back. You know, we got it. We got it. You know, she's from the south. But yeah, we was worried about y'all. We was worried. Uh, last time, uh, last time we left off. Loki last time, no, Loki did start it, but we we had only talked. I think we had only seen the man. It's been a minute. We only seen the first episode. Loki done ended, and what if has started? <laughs> what if has started? Um, came out. Black Widow did come out. I did a review of Black Widow, and it was I I heard for Black Widow. They could have, bro. They could have just took all her clips from Iron Man two to Endgame and made that into a movie mm-hmm. instead of what they did for Black Widow. I still liked it though. No, nah, but they gave her superpowers. Yeah, the subtle message behind it with the. You know, trafficking of women definitely empowering things for women. Talk you know, louder. You're you're muffled. Talk louder. 
Oh, with the empowerment, with the women, whatever. Um, definitely a good subtle message. Um, but, you know, other than we just have Wonder Woman, we don't have many other uh, female superheroes. So that's definitely a good thing for young little girls coming up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just hate. I just they made they made they made it to where she couldn't die. Like let's just give her the super soldier serum for a movie, mm-hmm. and she and she was dropping off top of like ten floors and the other girls breaking their legs and ankles. She drop on her back and get up, bounce up like it was nothing. Black Widow, bro. What do you expect? <laughs> but I'm saying Black Widow versus all Black Widows and the other Black Widows getting knocked out, but not her. Oh no, she got she got her ass beat a bit. She's just the more experienced one. I mean, she fought with the Avengers, man. Fighting aliens and shit. Right? I mean that's true. Well, no, she ain't fought no aliens. No, she did. Yeah. This is yeah, it takes place. Yeah, it takes place. You're right, it takes place after two Avengers one and two. So yeah, she had fought aliens and robots. So yeah, she she was she had the uh what's it called? The uh experience. The Zenkai boost, like she was able to take the hits and shit <laughs> and bounce up from it. Like getting hit by a human ain't nothing from getting hit by an alien. So, um, you gotta think about it that way, man. But, think yeah, of- no, and then, uh, you know, another movie I recently watched, well, not recently, but the like, girls were with me. Uh, You're muffled again. You, if that, can you, can you raise? Can I be the helmet? Yeah, I think it's the helmet. Like you're muffled. Like when you did whatever you did earlier had it had it straight. Is it better? Yeah. All right. Let's check check. Yeah, like but when you start talking, you start getting muffled. Oh, uh, okay. So like when you talk normal, like clear, like I don't know what's going on, but when you talk normal, it's straight. Right. Uh, well, just, uh, could you room. could you raise the slit a little bit? I did. I'll oh, okay. Is that better? Yeah. All right, all right. It might be the helmet. I don't know. The other helmet had a little bit more room. This one's a little bit more snug. See, now you back muffled. Yeah. See, whenever you talk right there, you're fine. Mm-hmm. And whenever you start to get it, get to flowing, it just gets real muffled. Like it's like. It's like you get, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You sound, you sound like a little bit better. Like turning it up ain't gonna change nothing. It's talking clear. I am talking clear. Like right there, if you talk like that for the rest of the video, you're fine. Don't tell me how to talk. But yeah. So, um, Corella, you watched Corella. That was, that was decent. Corella was pretty decent. Uh, enjoyable. What was decent? Corella. Corella? Yeah, you was telling me about that. I didn't uh I didn't get to watch it. I, I wasn't paying for another Disney Plus movie after Black Widow. And I was gonna play oh, for Shank. Yeah, I know you I did. That's what I'm saying. Like you didn't pay for it, but you watched it, so yeah. But um yeah, I mean, uh, other than that, Bad Batch ended the series. Uh definitely a lot of Cameos from the Mandalorian are in there. A lot of connection between uh, Revenge of the Sith and uh, A New Hope. Mm-hmm. So definitely, a lot of people need to watch that along with the Rebels. There's a connection to the Rebels as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude. Uh, on my end, that's pretty much it. I mean. I watched the first episode of What If, but I ain't watched the Charlie episode yet. Like, uh, it's, it can't, I fell asleep after the first episode. But um, mm-hmm. part, part of me is like, damn, if I watch it, it's over with. But I know he did more episodes. It's just, it just hurt knowing that, like, this is last. Like, that's his last. Like, the last thing we're going to see. Yeah, like, or you know. Is. And they said they already re- recast him for What If. And uh, and they're saying that the his voice actor is going to be the actor for the movie. Mm-hmm. 
but I don't know. Like it's just it's just minor rumors right now. Right. Yeah. But I what, what if I watched all three episodes, but mm-hmm. for the sake of you know, spoiling it for you, we'll just talk about the first one. Yeah. 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 The first one was cool. Um, I don't like how uh, like I get like. I, of course, you know, me and you, we read what it like, you know, like what if Wolverine beat the Hulk? You, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like my favorite, what if it's like, what if never, like, wasn't it a story? Like, what if they all never got snapped back or whatever? It's some Thanos story. Mm-hmm. Something like, I think it, it's something to do with Thanos and Infinity Gone. But, um, and you know, some other stories that like aren't classified as what ifs, but they're in the what if like universe, like, the cancer verse and stuff like that. Right. So I don't, I, out of all the stuff that Marvel can do to lead into a what if story, Peggy Carter just sitting, just staying down on the floor. That's the what if. Like, I don't know. Like, that really seems shoehorned in. Mm-hmm. Like, and then like the same incidents went, like, I don't know. It didn't make sense because. And then correct me if I'm wrong, but like in the first movie, they explode. They didn't have the explosion in the first movie, did they? Yeah, he they just did. It, it did. Okay, it and did. he ran off. But the the he experiment had but the experiment had already happened, right? The experiment had already happened. So basically, in the first movie, uh, the experiment in the in the booth is right when is right when he came out. The explosion happened, and then he take off, right? So, right, but, but that's what I'm. But but what I'm getting at is the what if story. The explosion happens after the the no, transformation. Before. The explosion happens before the transformation. Yeah. In the in the movie. And no, in what if? It no, before. I know that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. In that's what I'm saying. In, that's, what, yeah. that's what I'm saying. In the movie it happens after. So for what if to take place. It has to ha- be the same sequence of events. It, so it, the explosion has to happen after the transformation. So something has to go wrong for him not to get inside of it for her to so get into. That's that's why they did the explosion before and not after. So that, but, but that explosion ha- causes Steve Rogers to get shot. And he doesn't go through with the actual serum. Instead, Peggy Carter does. So, so are they trying to make it seem like Peggy, when she pushed, when she pushed into him and and prematurely made the explosion happen? No. He, See, that's why I'm getting confused. He, he caused the explosion because that was his purpose. He was going to steal the serum. Yeah. Right. But rather than letting the process go through, mm-hmm. he tried to steal the serum. Before, after he causes the explosion, mm-hmm. and then he gets tackled, killed, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then Peggy Carter, because Steve Rogers is shot, mm-hmm. takes the place. And so that's what I'm saying. Like, are they trying to make it seem like that she made it prematurely happen? Because if I don't know, I'm thinking too. Like, what if? Stuff is supposed to happen just all the way the same, except for one thing. And it just seemed like they kind of shoot. That was the thing. That was the thing. Like in all these episodes, it's always one thing switches. So rather than Peggy Carter going upstairs, she stays downstairs. Mm -hmm. Everybody stays downstairs. No, I get all that. I get all that. It just... I just thought like it would be like how the comics is like okay uh let me try to think like the what if what I think is Wolverine and Hope when Hope mm-hmm. beats Wolverine it's because the Wolverine like what damn I can't even, I can't even think of it I'm not prepared for this like conversation but <laughs> Like I like <laughs> I'm not prepared, but it all watch watch after we get done talking, it's so, all gonna come to me. Is, 
Yeah, the thing the thing is, yeah, what if it's supposed to be Yeah, I get it. I get it. I just feel like I I just I because feel like it's changed. So just the change of her not going upstairs, nobody went upstairs. So the guy does the explosion before anybody's upstairs. Oh, wait. So this dude that did the explosion was upstairs? No, he was downstairs. That's what I'm saying. So, like, I don't know. I just, I guess I'm going too deep with the what if. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, you are. and yes, my, because when they, when they, when they make the what if comments, they always make an elaborate one thing change that, like, Unweaves all this other shit that leads it to. But that's what they did, though. If you really think about it, first. I just feel like I don't know. I gotta watch the second episode because, like, like T'Challa becoming Star Lord. Like, how you mix up Kansas and Wakanda unless like they are the exact same places on the map? And like, Mm -hmm. if you look at the world, like Kansas, and then like it's a straight line to Wakanda. You gotta watch it. I can't. I mean, I know because I saw the episode. Yeah. Like I, I woke up mid episode. Like when I, like I told you, I got out of my appointment, whatever. And I woke mm-hmm. up mid after, like I had watched the first episode and fell asleep. Like I didn't even finish all of uh, Peggy Carter's episode. Mm-hmm. I think I got to the end. Aren't they like an hour long? Like they like mini movies or some uh-huh. shit. They're like 30, 30 minutes. Damn, I fell asleep fast as fuck. Then okay, so when I woke up during it, he was already like you know Star Lord basically, but as child mm-hmm. and i seen how him and I, so i like him and yondu interacting which is weird and it's like except he was acting more like a father figure to to child and i was like whoa, whoa whoa i gotta start this over and i never got to it but mm-hmm. um yes. no it, it's explained um no i know it is i know they're gonna do to child i know they're gonna do to child just especially that's like all right, and let me ask you this: Are they all leading into like a multiversal, like Avengers thing? Um, because I seen a photo, and it showed all of them in their hero costumes, but as their alternate versions, like it was T'Challa as Star Lord, Peggy Carter as Captain Britain, Iron, you know, well, what they call him, the Hydra Killer, right? With the okay, cube, and so he got the actual cube inside. Oh, yeah, I do like how they took the cube when he actually had the cube, and all the stuff from Iron Man 2 that he left for start was like, I, I couldn't finish my dream project. I was like on the brink of discovery because they lost the cube, but because <laughs> they was able to get the cube because Peggy Carter was on her shit because she didn't listen to the old boy. The, he actually made the suit, and the fact that the suit was at the cube inside of it that was hard. Mm-hmm. That was hard. Now, picture Tony having the cube inside his the actual cube inside his suit. Man, my dude would have been lit. Lit. You know, there's, a, there's a theory that I remember reading that why Tony didn't die immediately upon getting the gauntlet it is because of uh, the doctor. He made the, the he can he can he made was an artificial stone uh, stone. Yeah, and then they, they like when they in the first movie, if you go watch it, they said you can power something small for a lifetime, or power something big for fifteen minutes. In the first mm-hmm. movie, they said that like when you do this, like just know, like he was like you you created a new element that can. Last lifetimes, and then he looked yeah, at Iron Man like, too, though. Those, those no, 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 no. That was in the cave. Him and the doctor talked about this, and he was like, "Or I can power something really big for fifteen minutes." And yeah, he's talking about the arc reactor. I'm talking about the element that he creates in Iron Man too. No, that's that's the yeah. The the, the the arc reactor is the same thing. He just perfected it in Iron Man too because he looked at the, his pop studies of. The Tesseract, which is the mm-hmm. space stone. Yeah. Tony was the actual, literally the actual element created. Yeah, Tony made the space the stone. Tony made the space stone without mm-hmm. the magic part to it. Like the okay. Tesseract that encases the space stone is the arc reactor. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like yeah, the like the actual tesser like but what I'm saying is the actual element created in Iron Man 2 is actual. 
artificial stone versus the artificial No, I know that. I know that. I know that. I know that. That's what I'm saying. Like, it, yeah. it's the actual, like, you know, the casing that holds the space stone, like the cube. That's the element that he made. That's the element he made. <laughs> no, <laughs> shut up, bro. But no, like, we on the same page. I'm saying that, like, yeah. if you go back and watch the first movie, he, he already knew that, like, he could power something really big. Yeah. So the fact that his suit was already made of one of the same things, he just like he when he had the stones in his hand, he knew like he had like ten minutes max to to do what he Pretty had much. to do, and that's why he was able to like wield them. And people don't give him credit because like he the arc reactor. If you look at the suit, and that's what I love about Marvel's like BX team, BFX mm -hmm. team. If you go back, you see all the uh the shark like the energy like coming like veins but it's all going to the arc reactor the arc reactor was redirecting everything to it but by that time like like because it was all six stones like it could only do it, so much you know six stones plus the artificial ones so it's like yeah no like he, he he was basically a walking sun Mm -hmm. And then my nigga said the coldest line in, in cinematic history. <laughs> now, do you like? Let me ask you this. Let me now we like. I know, I, I know we always talk about in game somehow. Do you think they give Cap too much credit? I mean, I think they put him on a pedestal because it's Captain America and he's the original. Yeah, yeah, I just, I hate I hate how people downplay what Tony does for Cap, mm -hmm. and it's just like Cap stood in front of Thanos, okay, but he knew them. He knew he wasn't gonna be like they did that from the comics, you know. I get it, but and it was dope. But if it wasn't for Tony, every single movie they would have been dead. They would have got nuked in the first movie and died. A fucking continent would have killed all of them in the second movie. They lost in the third movie because they didn't listen to Tony. And then Tony did the snap. Who was going? And, and, and this is what I hate about Cap fans because it's like he's a righteous one. He do this whoop de whoop, and he always was hard on Tony for not making a sacrifice play. You don't see Cap trying to grab the stones. You don't see Cap trying to grab the stone. The only nigga that was finna the only it was two niggas in the whole movie finna try to get them stones. And that was and that was Captain Marvel and Thor. Sacrifice play. Exactly. You know, sacrifice play, taking the nuke up, snap, going up under the spaceship. I mean, what else? What do you do in uh, Age of Ultron? Who are you talking about, Cap? You know, I'm talking about Iron Man. Yeah, he and the thing, and 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 in Infinity War, he he was the first one. He seen shit going down in the sanctum, mm -hmm. and he jumped on the ship. He jumped on mm -hmm. the ship. Was finna, and then he fought Thanos one on one, one on one. All this nigga Cap did was stop his hand. This nigga Tony fought Thanos, yeah. like told it like, I know I'm human, and I know I got a suit on. But we finna we finna duke it out, and was actually like this nigga made him bleed. He when when Tony saw that that nigga could bleed, he said, "Oh, I can whoop his, I can kill him now." And it was just too late. Yeah. Like people yeah, like, like said, it cap, cap. it's because he because he symbolizes cap symbolizes the American dream or what Americans think they is mm -hmm. when really America is. U.S. agent, and so yeah, so like, and that's why I'm excited for Falcon Cap, which I wish he was still Falcon, but I know why they did it. Like, it has to be the mantle stuff. I kind of wish it was Bucky, and let mm -hmm. Falcon like let Falcon lead him, but but it still wouldn't have worked. But I I just hope mm -hmm. they don't like. I hope they don't hold. I hope they don't hold Falcon. While he's cap, no, you know what I'm saying. Mean, the thing about it is, you got to remember that Falcon was never Captain America Falcon in the comics. Yeah, he he's Captain Falcon. America. Yeah, no, I know he's in the comics. He's, 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 he's the he, 
I know he does, and like so that's why they're they're going along again. You know, we we've talked about this before. MCU yeah. creating their own stories. No, yeah, they're taking and the they're, bases, they're, but they're taking bases from the comics. So. I just don't the want comics. them to do him like they did him in the comics because they kind of hold him in the comics. Like they made all this political garnier bullshit and made him step down like it was too much for him. Mm -hmm. And I get it, but it's just like Falcon is so much more than just a Cap clone. Like he's his own man. And I really hope they show that in Cap 4. You know what I'm saying? And I hope they, even Bucky, I love Bucky, especially White Wolf Bucky, but I want him to, I need them to get out of that Cap sphere. Like I know he's Cap. Do you think that they brought Bucky down a notch. In yeah. Yeah. Like he yeah. wasn't. He's getting his ass whooped. Bucky is so much more. Bucky, and then I don't like that they in the show, in the show they tune him down for both of them to jump U.S. agent to barely get the shield back, just. For them niggas to bump with like Bucky killed being like took out the whole squad in Cap Two, mm -hmm. and then he went toe to toe a Black Panther like it was nothing to get to U.S. agent. And then I know people are gonna say like, oh, his uh his serum is perfected serum, is it though? And then they saying like the. It's not. And they're saying that um, the Winter Soldiers has a diluted serum. No, he doesn't. His was like juiced up even more. His serum is on the on the his serum is on the lines of like the Incredible Hulk down there. Except he doesn't have the rage no, shit. His, his, his serum is more along the lines of Captain America's serum. More perfect. No, no I'm saying, Hulk, I know, that's what I'm saying. On, but like Hulk, but you know so like Hulk's Hulk strength? Hulk is out of control. Hulk is out of control. Yeah. But even if you look at what Hydra did to the other five winter soldiers, that serum was not perfect either because they had inner rage. Mm, no, that's rage, that's who had it. I'm getting mixed rage. up. I'm getting mixed up. They had the rage one. Mm -hmm. And Bucky's was the perfected one. But he had mm -hmm. the muscle, like he had the but whole he like also the, had the programming through the arm. That's what it yeah, but he had the he had the muscle, like all his like the the strength that the like he could fight Hulk, he's not gonna win because Hulk mm -hmm. has the rage induced like the other super soldier, like the other Hydra soldiers. But Bucky ain't no weak nigga. And for them to make no, US they, they agent definitely weakened, they definitely weakened him in the now game. US agent does have the rage. Induce, but this but serum is more like the hydra serum. Yeah, but but U.S. agent serum isn't he like U.S. agent isn't as strong like U.S. agent not that nigga like they made it seem. Hey, he like like he not bro, like they did Bucky wrong, but Bucky way more. Bucky way more. They like how the Doja Mana like they just do 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 and his arm just. Like, bro. <laughs> Nigga, all they just did what? That shit funny. That that's that's one of the most disrespectful things in cinematic history. That was disrespectful. That was that was disrespectful. disrespectful. That's like on he the same, bro. That's on the same lines of when you know in anime when they when they playing the theme song and the, and the hero mm -hmm. hype getting getting hype and start beating the villain ass. That's like the villain beating the hero ass during his theme song playing. <laughs> and it's been a couple of moments in anime where a uh, 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 villain like, oh, this your theme song? Yeah, I'm still gonna beat your ass. Like, nah, this ain't gonna. Like, it's some disrespectful shit. No, that's like the Power was. Ranger. That's like the Power Ranger thing playing, and then the Green Ranger coming in, beating their ass. Like, get out the door, get out. I don't care. Cut this shit off. Cut these speakers off. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Yeah. What you think Shang Chi gonna be? I, the more the more I get closer to it, the more I'm like, um, I'm excited because I've been telling you know I've been telling you this this 
phase four, the 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 phase for the villains for me. Like the villains gonna turn. Um, look, I'm, I'm excited, excited for too. Mandarin. I just know they're gonna I'm nerf the fuck out. I'm just. I wish they would have done the Mandarin right in Iron Man three, because Ben Kingsley was amazing on those clips. Yep. So yep. Um, he was. I'm he looked perfect to see it. I'm excited to see it, and I'm excited to see how they're gonna fit what they fucked up in Iron Man three. Basically. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing more to that. I like that they bring an abomination into it, so that definitely brings that canon from Hulk that everybody's gonna like. No, I do like that they're bringing I I do like that like um you know, generals and black widow, abomination's gonna be in Shang Chi, like you know, like it's not like the Hulk isn't a black sheep anymore. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, which everybody was like, now the only black sheep it is is Hulk one. Which I tried to go back and rewatch it, and it's not it is canon and it's not canon at the same time. Like you can watch Hulk, Hulk, and Hulk two. Like you can watch Hulk and the Incredible Hulk, and it makes sense. But you can't watch Hulk, Incredible Hulk, and then with the rest of the MCU, it won't make sense. Um, yeah. Um, I, I, I feel you on that. I think when Incredible Hulk came out, it was yeah, there was a connection to Hulk. Yeah, with him being in Brazil or whatever. Yeah, no, me and you and, know that because we're. Yeah. But yeah. It, but the characters that's in Hulk and stuff and like the stuff that happens in Hulk, mm-hmm. that like it is not an MC. Yeah, but yeah. technically now because the multiverse, it is an MC. Yeah. So. Um, People can go back and rewatch and it. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil episode three or what is, but I'm just gonna say that the Incredible Hulk is canon. It's tied into the regular timeline. Wait, the OG Hulk? And no, the second Hulk movie, the Incredible Hulk. No, we know that. There's, there, everybody knows so, that. It's um, all canon. Obviously, because of Ross. But yeah, Betty Ross. I mean, this is a spoiler, but Betty Ross. He's in it. Uh, is she gonna be her Hulk? Huh? Is she turning into the Hulk herself, or? I tell you, you no. I'm gonna it. watch it when we when we get out when we, when we get out tonight. I'm gonna watch it now. Uh, let me ask you this: while we while we on air, um, are we gonna shoot? Are we gonna do every two weeks still? Yeah. Uh, definitely want to come back on every two weeks again. Okay. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to go see Shang Chi by that time. Um, you gotta watch me and um, you gotta watch me and uh, Kentaku. Well, you know, you know his real name, but I can't say it's government. Oh yeah, I said your government on on the uh, <laughs> you, you, you on the did. podcast. Huh? You already did. Well, no, I didn't. Oh, was it? Okay, my bad. No, we wasn't yeah. shooting when I said it, but that's why I oh, said it while we were on air. That's why I said on air, like he 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 going by Kentaku. Mm-hmm. Like, um, and he's gonna start streaming and stuff, so he's gonna do his own like Twitch channel and stuff. So he's gonna yeah. try to get, but he's gonna like do our animation videos. You know, he animates, so he's gonna be like he's gonna make us an anime opener for. Mm-hmm. He's gonna do one for the podcast, me his podcast, and then my solo stuff. Okay. So, but yeah, um, but you know, he just got a new job too, so he gotta get that straight now. But me and him okay, are going no, to the. I've been busy with mine too, so. Yeah, okay. yeah. Me and him are going to the con in uh, October, and uh, we're gonna shoot. We're gonna try to shoot some stuff down there, and uh, it's gonna be dope. I bought a I bought a tripod, so me and him shoot downstairs in the theater room, and uh, we sit on the couch and stuff. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. Nice, nice. Um. Um. So what else we got on the list? Let's see. Uh Red oh, Red let me Red talk Red. about Donda. Oh, my boy Yay. My boy Yay back. Yay. Yeezy. Jesus. There you should be no because you don't want me to say my piece. There should be no Donda slander on the podcast. There should be no Yay slander on the podcast. Whatever he did in the past, just that nigga done apologize. Let that shit go. Nah, man. He 
didn't apologize. She's stupid. He did apologize. Let that shit go anyway. All my fans. Go listen to that shit. Okay. That shit's fire. Be- before Shut the fuck up, Nick. Shut up. Shut Before up. Before you continue. Shut you up. Up. Piece and then you Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Find me. Shut up. I'm bleeping all that shit out. Shut up. Anyway, <laughs> y'all go listen to that shit. It's album of the year. It's only the only other album of the year that the only other contender for album of the year is Tyler the Creator's album. These two albums, these two albums lit. When I say when I say they lit us, bro, let me, let me get the camera. Let me get the camera, bro. Let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all something. Let me, hold on. Let me tell y'all something. This shit right here, nigga, lit. Yay. Back. My man's here. Stop all that. Stop all that sneak this and Drake. You a bitch. Let me take that out. Because if I blow up and then Drake try to do a song with me. I probably not nah, ain't gonna nah Drake creepy anyway. Stop sneak this on my man. Yay. Let that man live. Yay coming at your neck. Album of the year. Shit jump. Tyler Crater, album of the year. I don't care who went out of them two. It's probably gonna be yay, because his fans is yay fans is like we deep. We here. And I can't wait to go to the concert. Shit gonna be jumping. Why you turn your screen off, bro? <laughs> oh, because I needed some air. Oh, <laughs> oh man. But you still ain't got your profile me. pic. The uh, your daughter not uh, finished yours. No, we haven't. It's been a crazy summer, honestly. So uh, we haven't been able to get that, and then I still haven't been able to get your whole thing. So my whole thing. Your. I know you got the picture, but I want to get the other sizes and all that. So. The other what? Tyler, the creator. I did listen to Tyler, the creator. I did listen to well, the yeah. other one, Little Baby. and Yeah. You like it? Uh, I know you did. Go on, tell your piece. Tyler, the creator, I actually really did enjoy it. I know you did. That shit is sexy. Um, little Baby and all that. That other one uh, was a Little Baby, Little Dirt. Yeah, it's too new for you. Um, I already know. But I'm glad you listened to it. You know, I listened to it. It's not that it's too new. It's just, you know, they just seem like they're overly angry. (laughs) That's Uh, Lil Dirt. Lil Baby not. uh, But, you know, I grew up with, you know, hustlers, pimps, and dealers, and gangsters, and a lot of the new stuff that I've try to listen to here and there it's more of the i got money even though i just got my first album and i just do a bunch of drugs because i like to say hi and i'm like yeah that's not me bro yeah but um but no definitely i mean i like the beats they got good sound to it yeah Um, that's right well no tyler the creator obviously i mean that that album was that album jumping Um, um I think Kanye's album should be disqualified from the black community. Wow. Um, about that. Yeah, I went that far, bro. Wow. Um, on another note, a different music, I mean, rock music. Uh, a friend of mine had me listen to it's a group called The Wheel, the V H E E L, and another yeah. group called Vola. Uh, one of them has a very late 90s, early 2000s tool rock feel to it. Mm-hmm. Um, kind of grungy. Uh, so if you get a chance to listen to any of those two, they're pretty good albums. You got to send me the link to them. I'm not going to remember that. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, Eternals trailer, bro. We gotta get into that one. We gotta get into Ooh. the Eternals trailer. We gotta get into Venom. We got no. They Spider-Man. pushed Venom back, so I don't even want to talk about Venom right now. But you still gotta talk about that trailer, man. Because Carnage, we got, bro. Yeah, Carnage, Carnage gonna be. Don't look dope. Carnage gonna be. Venom think he ready hey. for uh, <laughs> Venom. 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 Venom think it's a red one. 
Venom think he, bro. I don't know if Venom got it in his repertoire to fight Carnage right now. Because Carnage, people forget, Carnage come out the gate bust. Venom ain't even got spider powers yet. He just out here on his just just doing it what he just doing what he do. Mm-hmm. Venom Carnage is gonna beat Venom ass, mm-hmm. but the ass whooping Peter finna get is not it's not bro. Oh, the Green Goblin, William the Foe, Green Goblin. Bruh, Doc, 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 I'm finna toss and turn Peter like he in jail. He no, finna be ma- Alfred Molina and Alfred Molina, Doc, bro. And then bro. come out, come out. We have you sleep. We still got Sandman, OG Sandman, and it be Jamie Foxx's Electro. And then you got a lizard. And then word on the street is maybe Mysterio kind of pulling back up. It could be Mysterio or it could be Rhino or it could be the Vulture. Now. It could also be Scorpion. It could be Scorpion. Out of these no three niggas, he better hope it's the Vulture. Because the Mysterio pulled back up doing that damn shit with the drop. Oh my god. Peter finna get his ass. He's going like Peter and the MCU cannot fight the Sinister Six. He has to have the other two spider man with help, help him. Agreed. Like the other Agreed. two spider man like Andrew Garfield is the only nigga, and everybody like Tobey Maguire, Tobey Maguire, Tobey Maguire. I get it. He's our first nostalgia, whatever. To me, to our, Andrew Garfield's the the he was the best spider man. He's the only I disagree Spider- with that. He's the listen. He's the only Spider Man that sh- that showed his like how smart he was on the fly. Like he would fix it. Like when he fought Electro, they he he was like, I need a way to fight him. Like and he would fix his suit. Tom Holland just he just got the nano suit. Like so he can just whatever program. Like he got start back at him, which is cool. But uh, it kind of dilutes him because, like, in the comments, like, yeah, they had a relationship and it was big, but it wasn't until later. You know what I'm saying? So with him being young, it's like he depends on a mentor and he didn't have that in the comments until later. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So Toby, like, Toby's cool, but Toby was like, everything was like, you know, he was Spider-Man, like. He didn't have web shooters. He didn't. He he didn't. He didn't fix his suit. He just he just fought him. Which and they always like you know he always came up a way to beat him. But Andrew Garfield Spider Man actually like came up with ways to like maneuver through his enemies like strong points. Like how can I use this against him? Oh, with the lizard. Like you know what I'm saying. Like he studied the lizard before he actually like actually took him out you know what i'm saying he studied electro and like they fixed like he got he uh decharged his web shooters to actually fight electro so it's just like and i feel like andrew garfield spider-man is going to be the key to a lot of the victors mm-hmm. with tony's tech and then oh uh Tobey mcguire's peter parker is just going to be here just to like just to make everybody else happy all right. So here's at, at this point they gonna hold have they gonna they gonna need no, no. This, let's hold on hold on at this point no, they no, gonna no, need no, no. they gonna need Miles from the damn cartoon and the Spider Man PS4 Miles and Peter Parker to pull up to fight the with the Center right. Six because so, t- like Tom not ready Tom gonna get watched to, to Andrew's point of view that you said that he was smarter on the go fine yeah but if you look at the development of Tom Holland Spider Man you see that he's actually smart. When he's picking up garbage shit and creating his own little shit with True. old technology, but that's okay. all of them. They all he, did that. Hold on, hold on. And he also created his original Spider-Man too with the funny goggles and all that shit. Yes, he has Tony as a mentor and the health of technology. But you see the development and how his character has changed from Civil War to Homecoming to Far Away Home, whatever that was. 
Far from home. We're going to see. Far from home. Now we're going to see how much he has grown since Far From Home. Okay? My thing is, I think we saw, what, maybe three, four different suits in the trailer? Uh, It was the black suit, nano suit. I think that's it. Regulars. He's only going to have the black suit, the new one. And I think he's going to have, like, the Doctor Strange uh, magic suit. What is with so, the magic? Here's stuff. my thing. I think the last suit that he had on Far From Home, he's gonna start off with, and then the Iron Suit. I think if Toby Maguire and Andrew Garfield are in it, he's gonna let them borrow his suits. Mm-hmm. He's gonna have the black suit. No, I think. Yeah. Toby's going to come with a new suit and it's going to be the suit. All right. You remember the story where Peter and Dr. Strange were looking at his past, present, and future. And you see when he was old man, Spider-Man, and he had on like the, the vest with the button up. And it was yeah. red and, and it was red and blue. I feel like Toby McGuire is going to have that suit. That's going to be his suit. And I feel like Andrew may have his suit, his regular uh, suit from his, his Spider-Man movies. And then, um, well, different theories, different possibilities. I don't know. I mean, my theory is I think so he's gonna bring out the old suits and he's gonna let them bar it into the MCU, you know, because they're coming out of other realities, they don't have that technology that Tom Holland has because of Tony Stark, mm-hmm. you know, um, you know, possibility. Another thing that we can actually look at is Alfred Molina's Doc Ock, you know, when his arms are red, it's because the AI is in control. And if you look the at little eye, the little eyeball, or whatever. Yep. Yeah, right. the, I, yeah, that's when he like ain't like he's his brain thing went all the way. Mm-hmm. But remember, so he Kenny. died like that. He died, yeah, he yeah. died like that. So you got to think, when we see these characters, they are right there when they're dying. Mm-hmm. So whatever, however they die, however we've seen them die, that's how they're going to be in the movie. The person I'm ready to see is Green Goblin. And I want to know how they're going to throw William Defoe. Is I want to know William Defoe is going to be in the MCU MCU, MCU, like forever, mm-hmm. and be the Osborne. And then, how much of an influence is Green Goblin going to have into developing Ned Landers into the Hobgoblin? Exactly. You know, it's going to have to do it. You think Ned going to be Hobgoblin? I think so. Why is that? I don't know, man. It's just a gut feeling. I don't think he's going to be Hobgoblin. Feeling. Mm, let's we'll see. Let's see what else. Eternals on trailer looks crazy. Bro, uh, you should have seen me when I seen the Celestial, the Judge. I lost my shit. I was so Judge ecstatic. The analyzer. The analyzer. And then my boy, bro, people sleep on how big the Celestials are. My man was creating a galaxy while he making the goddamn pizza. Mm-hmm. Like, that's fucking powerful, bro. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. And the fact that, that we're finna get this all in the MCU, oh my gosh, dude. Like, and I don't know. I, I, I'm 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 excited for Eternal, but not because of the Eternal, because of the cosmic era of Marvel that is fixing to start. And I don't you know? know if I mean obviously they were filming all that before they started filming Loki and all that, but I mean obviously they already had a plan. So I want to see. Obviously they're releasing it after Loki. Is it going to play into after? King to conquer and all that and the, no no, no. Eternals Eternals 
Eternals takes place after the snap. Which snap? First snap, second snap, or third? In games, in game snap. Like it takes place Tony, like. Tony snap. Yeah, it takes place like a couple of months after in game. Okay. So basically, the timeline is this: in game, uh, Wanda. Scarlet, Scarlet. I mean, one, yeah, one division. WandaVision and actually Loki takes place during Endgame. Mm-hmm. And it ends at like at the end of Wanda. All right. Mm-hmm. And then uh Spider Man happens that summer. Like Spider Man takes place, Spider Man Far From Home takes place if that okay. summer, immediately after. And then Far From Home and then um no Way Home takes place immediately after Far From Home. and But it goes into December. All right? So, and then while that's going on, like, after Far From Home, then Falcon and Winter Soldier. So, Far From Home takes place before Falcon and Winter Soldier. And then, so while Far From Home going on, Shang-Chi is happening. Not Far From Home. Yeah, not Far From Home. While, um, it's far from home and then no way home. Right, the good no name home. is no way home. It's far from home. So it's in game, it's in game and Loki at the same time. And then Wanda and then Loki ends. Wanda ends, Loki ends. And then Eternals happens. And no. And then uh Far From Home happens. And then No Way Home happens. And then No Way Home goes in. And while No Way Home is happening, Shane Chi is happening in this bowl and their little stuff going on. All right. And so after after Shang Chi is the Eternals, and then after Eternals is happening, while Eternals is happening, um, Cap Falcon and Winter Soldier is happening because Falcon and Winter Soldier happens in December of that year because mm-hmm. their the last fight happens in New York around Christmas time. And all but, the while that's happening. Loki's fucking up all the multiverses. Exactly. But word on the street is that uh, No Way Home, I mean, yeah, No Way Home is happening during all of this, too. Because it's like the Christmas time, too. But it happens. Like, No Way Home is like the span of six months. So while No Way Home is happening, Shang-Chi is happening. Falcon and Winter Soldier is happening. Eternals is starting. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Loki's they, obviously happening because, I mean, that Loki I'm already had to play. Yeah, well, no, I'm saying uh, probably when we see the the breaking the realities and all that shit with Spider Man, mm-hmm. strange is happening. Loki technically takes place during like three three m- millennia because of the time travel and stuff. Mm-hmm. But, but that's what I'm saying. Like that that one piece is possible. That what is happening in Loki and with Wanda. It's mm-hmm. creating that with Doctor Strange, and that's creating the multiverse of madness. Mm-hmm. Quantumanium that's coming up. So now, we, now I'm glad. I'm glad. Now, now listen. Now, do you think people are saying that when female Loki pushed Sylvie, when Sylvie pushed Loki through the time door, that she pushed him into an alternate universe with Kane? I think that he pushed him into back into the same universe, but because they killed the one, the uh, you know, the one, what, what was his name in the um, the one, not the, the one, one above remains. all, the one that remains. The one that remains. The, but, but because they killed the one that remains, that Kang had already came through. He was like, oh, he did, but he already slipped through the time stream. And that is the same TVA, but Kang already took over. Um, okay. I think that's how power, like that, because that is in the comics. That's how powerful Kang is. As soon as you think you killed one, the other one just comes in just like that, mm-hmm. and he's and he's like was already waiting. Like, nope, I'm in this bitch. It's my it's my shit now. And so now, when he got pushed through. Kang already did what he did. And so Loki is like not an alternate timeline. He's in the regular one, except he wasn't 
he wasn't in place when all that was happening. So that's why everybody doesn't know who he is anymore. Because Kang didn't write it like that. Kang just literally was like, whoever was in the TV at that time, that's who likes in TV still. Right. But it's not the TV. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Makes sense. That's, that makes sense. I mean, I, here's the thing, dude. Like, and, and I think we 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 said this. I'm reiterating something we've already said. Is the MCU has so many possibilities that they can do from comics, and not only that, but they're creating their own stories. Uh huh. And it's just the possibilities are endless. endless. Yeah, but I just want them to do it right, like. I, I don't I hope it, I hope they don't get to where they're just trying to please everybody. And like it's just little stuff here and there that have been bothering me. And I just hope that it's like, you know, you got all these great comic stories. You know, use them as source materials, but make them better. Like if you can't make it better, just use it what it is. Like in game. Like the way they changed Thanos was way better because he's a simp in the comic. And he he he's to me <laughs> Thanos Thanos wasn't a dope villain to me. Dude, just wait till you see what it's too. <laughs> but Thanos wasn't a Thanos wasn't a dope villain to me. Like they just used him because he was a deviant. So like he hated. Like I wish they would have dove more into that because he hates the Eternals that much. And you know, like I love later on when you get into like Jonathan Hickman's run. And he's so like the reason the reason you they use Thanos was because Thanos is gonna open up the MCU to the universe. That no, yeah. The beginning. No, the, yeah. The small guy. And he's he's he was, was the larger. perfect he was the perfect villain for that. And I'm glad they did use him because his and they changed him for the better because now every comic that's gonna use Thanos from here on out is gonna make him a badass. Oh yeah. And like we saw a glimpse of that in Infinity, like they made Thanos a badass in that verse. Mm -hmm. And so, and I and I like that. And I hope that whenever they like, whenever they bring uh, whenever they bring Falcon back to Cap again, they gonna make him a badass because because of the movies and shit. You know, they're gonna like stick to what the movies are doing. They, I just want them to do it right. No, definitely. I mean, you can go on on Marvel all day, but yeah, uh, the possibilities and and everything that they can do. I mean, and obviously they got the right people at the head of the department to write these stories and create. Would you speaking ahead of the department? Do you think? Um, what do you think they're gonna do with Star Wars? Like, do you think the Star Wars is getting on the right track, or do you think it's like whatever? Right? Um, the last thing I heard, okay, so obviously I was, you know, going off that batch and it ties everything in between. Uh, you got the series that just finished uh, finished filming, which is Andor, mm -hmm. from the guy that, uh, that we spoke yeah. about first. I'm excited for Andor. Um, um, haven't heard anything about the Lando series yet. Um, I know they started filming the Obi-Wan series, which is definitely everybody's excited for that uh -huh. um the way they're doing these series with the mandalorian bringing so much into canon that was taken out of canon is going to fix a lot of like holes but obviously it's not going to fix the last three movies that were a disaster in my opinion i mean i still like them because they're star wars but they were a disaster I don't know how they could fix that unless they did something like the MCU with somebody breaking reality or some shit. Yeah. Um, but I think maybe starting a a different saga. I mean, you basically killed the Skywalker saga with killing Luke, killing Ray. Hello, yeah. Walker. Um. This, you, you killed the saga, the Skywalker saga. So just start a new saga. Um, maybe doing a new saga with the Old Republic. You know, from the Knights of the Old Republic game. Carry off something from there. You know, the Old Jedi Order, the Old Sith Order, which is very different from what 
everyone has seen in the recent movies. Yeah. You know? so, I feel like they need to give us a new hero, give us a new villain, mm-hmm. or what I, what I would love to do, go back in the past and tell us those stories. Live action. That's what I'm saying. If, if they did the old Republic saga with the old Jedi Order, the old Sith Order, it's not just a hero or just a villain. It's multiple Sith Lords, multiple Sith Masters. Yeah, not, like... It, the, and the, the, the whole rule of two is not existing at that time. Mm-hmm. Um, the Jedi Order is developing the strategies and you know, learning from these ancient civilizations that had mastered the Force, you know, in, in the game, there's an ancient civilization that had mastered the way of the Force so much they became immune to using the Force. Yeah. You know, this, this is stories that they can bring into canon and explain why things are the, the way they were by the time episode one came. So, I mean, that's one thing they can do. They could do a series, of the Old Republic series. That would do. That would make bank. That would make time. bank. Yeah. That would make bank. That would make bank. And that way they can tell deep stories exactly. and then do it season by season instead of trying to get it all out in a movie, which a movie would be dope, but there's no source material for that right now. There's the books, mm-hmm. but they already threw the books out. The, the window years ago. They took the books out of the canon, exactly. So, like, um, like, I can't get to it, but like the book about Dark Maul, like, that shit was beautiful. Mm-hmm. And it was just like, yeah. for what? No, you guys, there's, there's so many things that Disney could definitely bring back into canon and use it as, like, a, like you said, a series that can develop deep stories. It could be mm-hmm. something like a what if where you can have, you know, different Jedi stories. Mm-hmm. You know, they don't have to be connected, but it's different Jedi stories, different Sith. The different only thing Jedi about the stories. what if stuff is that I hate that, like, Star Wars, because they're doing that in the anime. They're, they're, they're making an anime, but they're just, mm-hmm. like, little small stories, and they're, but they're not going to go nowhere. Like, I feel like this, the, that short amount of time isn't enough to tell a dope, intricate story. Like, Cause watch, they're gonna have one dope ass episode. And we're all gonna be like, we need more of that, and they're never gonna touch it with ever again. Mm-hmm. With yeah, the series, no, and they need to do more. Like I know, I know, I know, Star Wars is more than just Jedi, but like, I don't feel like I've seen any Jedi stuff since Disney had it for real. Like, it's like they just like Jedi is just uh, a Jedi in the, in the name only, but they don't do Jedi shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like. I have yet to watch a Star Wars stuff. And you know what's crazy? Like, I love Star Wars. Star Wars is, like, the reason I love, like, space and, like, sci-fi and shit. And mm-hmm. they don't really do any of that, man. Like, it's like... Yeah, what, what they could start with a series is start at the beginning of the Jedi Order with the first Force users and how the Jedi Order came to be and, you know, carry on some stories like that. And then in the next season, carry on how the ones that separated became Sith and how they developed the Sith order and like they just got infinite possibilities there that they could bring and they won't do it and you know and Star Wars is so big that they should have been the first MCU really but it's just like they didn't do nothing it's just like I know that Star Wars started off as like spaghetti western in space but it's so much more than that now like Y'all are in space and all y'all keep doing is the same old like face to face dual bang bang shit. When y'all can be having galactic fucking battles, like not just in space shooting, like you know, having dog fights, like literally on planets. Like the Jedi Order and the Sith Lords are these super strong celestial type beings, and we don't get to see. Them crushing nothing, bro. If it wasn't for that stuff in Fallen Order and uh, what's the other game? Uh, Star Wars, uh, yeah, me too. I bought it on PlayStation. I finally bought it on PlayStation. Yeah. Um, if it wasn't for we stuff, I downloaded Pro- the PS5 version on it. Oh, you the PS4? You no, I know you did. I remember I had the Xbox version, and so I got I'm yeah, replaying yeah. through it. 
I'm replaying through it on uh PS5 now. PS5 version is bro, it's so good. But if it wasn't for stuff in uh, I'm trying to think of the 360 Star Wars game that was uh that was dope. Yeah. Uh unleashed. That's star yeah, unleashed. If it wasn't for the stuff I With seen star in Killer. Unleashed. Yeah, I knew the dude name, but I couldn't think of the game. If it wasn't for the stuff in Unleashed and Fallen Order, I would gave up on Star Wars years ago. But like look at the games, the Star Wars games that were on the original Xbox, between the Phantom One Menace games, and then you had the uh, once the Knights, something Knights, where it's actually what used to be canon, where Luke Skywalker is training young Jedi. Yeah, and his daughter is part of it. Yeah, and that that and she was my favorite character. Like I thought her daughter was Ray the entire time, and it yeah. wasn't. And it's just like you literally made her Emperor Palpatine's granddaughter for no reason. Yeah. And it's just like, that what was that? What was that whole scene with Ray getting saved by Luke as a baby? It's like it's like they did a, It's like they did stuff in the movies and then didn't touch back on it again. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's just. It's just I guess they tried to get away from it, but trying to stay with it. I like, I, and that makes sense. No, that's why I think they they killed the Skywalker saga, period. The way they made they wrote it, they killed the site. And a lot of Star Wars fans are, you know, they're happy that they got three more movies, but they're disappointed with the story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, you do about that other than tell Disney to fuck off and fix shit. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, at this point, <laughs> I think Star Trek is fucking beating Star Wars because they kept even all their different shows and movies somewhat in canon. I don't know. I feel mm-hmm. like the Star Wars, the Star Wars mythos at this point is just like, it's 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 not what it should be. And then like the Mandalorians fixing to get into movie territory with next season. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, what you gonna do with that? Are they doing the next season or did it? I mean, he he, he did they're what he was supposed it, to doing the third season. Um, where it's gonna go without Grogu, which is Baby Yoda to other people. We don't know. Um, Ashoka Tano is getting her own show, which is dope. But a lot of I'm excited like, for that, but it's just like, are they going to are they going to do that right? A lot of things, yeah. But that's the thing. A lot of people are like, well, who's this Jedi? Because they never watched Rebels or Clone, like, yeah. Clone Wars. Wars. And that's another that thing that that I hate about uh, is that they had all these Jedi's and stuff, and they went into hiding. And then this is like, I know the galaxy is big. But in Star Wars, it's not that big when you could travel at the speed of light and shit instantly. And it's just like that you don't, I don't know, like how, like you better make a, a good reason she been missing for a long ass time. Well, not only her, but the guy from Fallen Order. The, uh, I, don't know, I, I think he's going to die. From, from Rebels. Not he's the dude from, from Rebels. The dude from Fallen Order, that's canon. I think he gonna die though, but but not just him though. What about his his mentor and the other ones? Like they don't touch on nobody. And it's just like I know a well, lot his of mentor got killed. His mentor yeah, got killed. during the Clone War. But I'm talking about the the black chick that he's with. Oh. Like where has she been? You know what I'm saying? Like you, it's like well, they're introduced touch with the Force though. Remember? Yeah, but it's and just like they're but what? in Star Wars canon. There's Jedi that. Stop using the force, and they actually, because they stop believing in it, they can no longer use it. So they don't have that tie to it. Mm-hmm. So that's why they can be found. So like in the game, you know, you have the sisters, some sisters or whatever. Um, they seek force users, mm-hmm. but they can't find her because she doesn't have that connection to the force. But they can find uh, whatever they cal tests whatever. So the game, you have yeah. you have uh, the, I forgot the name of the two from the Rebels series. 
you know the the camera. one that used the black lightsaber. Uh no no no. Um, I'm thinking the uh I'm thinking they're they're the Mandalorians. They can use like yeah. oh that's some the of them are that's a that's a Mandalorian thing. Yeah yeah yeah. Um, but know, let me tell you which one. Is I remember I know you're talking about Ken Janos and Ezra Badger. Yeah, you know they they're existing and they're not being banned. No, I'm saying like they're, they're getting to where like my thing is they're getting to where they're introduce they're going to introduce a lot of characters to where it's going to be like like how uh like our boy in uh, Eternals he's like well, where y'all been doing this. This whole time, where were y'all at when this was going on? You know what I'm saying? And they they need to the MCU needs to answer like, okay, you guys are part of the beings. Where the fuck were you guys? Why didn't you? Yeah, and in? and I'm glad that his character's in the movie because he's basically us speaking through the movies. Like, yeah. you know, you know what I'm saying? Like he uh he's basically like, you know, the world ended, and and what have y'all doing? If these, if they weren't part of the snap few, they better have been all snapped for. But I mean, the Eternals are supposed to be higher beings than Thanos. So maybe they weren't affected by it, but again, they could be like the Watchers where they're not allowed to interfere. No, but that's what, that's what they say. Hey, you not watched the final trailer? Probably not. I don't know. You know what? Oh, they said that in the movie, yeah, like trailers. I know I hate watching trailers because I want to keep as minimal knowledge as possible. But I know that I gotta start watching trailers because of this. Oh yeah, no, you gotta start watching trailers because in the, the latest trailer, they he literally said like, "Where have y'all been doing?" And then she yeah. says like, "Uh, she was like, we we were told not to interfere by the Celestials, and that's when you see the judge." Okay, so there you like, go. There's the answer. Yeah, but it's just like. Since what when do the niggas do? listen? Since when do the niggas listen? Celestials, celestials are going to be like the Watchers. They know everything's happening. And yeah, happening. but the Celestials be telling the niggas not to do a lot of shit, and they still defy them every fucking time. So it's just like, you let the whole world get snapped. You let aliens, come. you let world, your cousin. Universe. Bro, the entire galaxy universe got snapped half, like half of them got snapped. And y'all still was at home cooking eggs and bacon. Maybe they knew that they were going to get sent back. So that's why they were told, don't do nothing. No, them niggas didn't know that. <laughs> hey, 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 it's a possibility. I mean, Kang has seen the future. All the Celestials, that's maybe. That's Kang, though. That's different. He, that nigga knew. Like, Kang the knows. TVA a know. A Celestial might know, too. That's no, that's the whole thing about the session. They let the will of humans be until they come, like you know, drain them of life. So, like, they don't know. The only ones that know stuff like that is like the one above all, Kang. No, the one above all. What do you mean? The one above all is the top, 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 top. I know. And then, uh, who's the other one? The three headed nigga. Uh, Living Tribunal, the, the, the watch. Watchers. No, the watchers don't know everything. They just watch. They document everything. Hmm. The watchers don't know everything. Living Tribunal knows everything. I'm pretty sure there's a there's a Celestia that is like timekeeping or something. Because each Celestial has their own purpose. Yeah, you're thinking of uh. You're thinking of like the embodiment of like space, like the like like the Kronos and them. Like yeah. they're not celestials, are they? What are they called? They're not celestials, are they? Because it's the celestials, and then and then there's them niggas who are like you know e eternity, um, Kronos, um. Well, no, but the embodiment, the void, the one above uh, all is is above all of them. The one above all is above all, all of everybody. Yeah. I'm not talking about him, but he knows he knows everything too. But it's like just because they're celestial and stuff, they don't know everything. 
I'm going to have to do my research for the next uh, video. Yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there was one. Wait, we'll see. And what else we got? Oh, so I, uh, I caved in and I did the Ghost of Tsushima director's cut. I'm on Iki Island or whatever that is. Say what? The Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah. See, have you got the have you got the sequel, the uh, DLC? Yeah. You like it? So far, so good. Um, there's hey, hold on. Features. Hold on, real quick. Let's let's take a break. Take a little break. All right. All right. All right. What you saying? Ghost Tsushima. Ghost. Ghost Tsushima. Yeah. So started playing that. Um, the Iki Island. Iki Island. I'm on an Iki Island right now. You like it? And uh, yeah, it. Um, there's new control features, uh, more haptic feedback, new, uh, new skill with the horse, where like he can ram into people. Yeah. Yeah. Hard. Um, I haven't really seen any new armor yet. I just started it on the screen and it works. So Did you get the PS5 version? Oh yeah. Come on. Is it is it worth the 30? I mean it looks amazing, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like I mean it could look amazing, but like can you tell the difference from backwards compatible and native? PS5? That's what I'm saying, like. So I don't know. Probably. Look, man, I got a big, badass TV. <laughs> and all looks fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the TV you play on in the background? No. It's an old Samsung. Oh, you're playing the living room. Okay, yeah, my big TV, bro. Mm. That's good. If I put this TV in here, that, that whole wall, it's bigger than that wall. No, I know. Like, now that I see it, like, I know it's bigger. Yeah. I don't know if I want to get an it OLED TV. Take up, it would probably take up this whole wall right here. Yeah, I don't know if I want to. I don't. It's an 85 inch? Damn. I don't know if I want to get. <laughs> I don't know if I want to get a uh, a new TV or upgrade my monitor because I love my monitor, bro. Like the monitor, just like the like the gaming experience now is way different than. But I, I ain't think it would be that big of a difference. I don't know if it's because I'm just up close and personal now playing, mm -hmm. especially like with because you're. You're you're in a smaller room and you're you know watching. Yeah, because you know when I play on my when I played on my TV though, when I was on my couch, I had a couch here instead of the desk, mm -hmm. so like I was far away. Uh, so mm -hmm. I never I never played a game on TV with you know my with my chair up close, but then I feel like I'll be too close because of big ass TV, and so now I'm thinking that like I'm gonna keep my monitor. And then get another monitor as a, a OLED, a OLED monitor in play. Cause there ain't nothing wrong with my TV. My, my TV in the living room is probably about twelve to fifteen feet from the TV when I'm sitting back on the couch. So mm -hmm. big ass thing. So I mean, I'm seeing everything. Um. But yeah, so I mean that's that's obviously the difference, you know, depending on how much room you got, where you Yeah. Um, obviously in a bigger TV, I mean the good thing about the TV I got is it's the X one chip Sony TV that works with the PlayStation Five. So it's uh -huh. fluid as hell, dude. Like, yeah, no, you can't go to any you got settings or anything. Yeah, I know you got the 120 hertz TV, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, see, that's the only thing I want to upgrade. I got um 
but the new systems can't do 4K 120 hertz. They can only do 4K 60. So if you're playing 4K, it's only at 60. But if you play it, yeah. But the TV, this TV, I think automatically goes down. It has the E arc or whatever that shit is for the PlayStation Five. Yeah. So it's you got the Sony TV. Yeah. Oh yeah, so then the yours got Sony everything. TV, yeah, the Sony TV that got released with the PlayStation Five. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it got everything. So yeah. yeah. Oh, shit! Did you see that? That was dope. But anyway, so yeah, um, I'm playing that all in order PS5 version. Mm. That's pretty much it. Waiting on getting that Xbox Series X Infinity is it edition. Oh yeah, they just announced that. So I hope I hope. Yeah, I hope we're able to get it in time. So they I mean, was wild. Wait till I get that one. I'm not trying to get a regular one. I gotta get that one. No, yeah, that's how I am. Like we we got from what November. It comes out in December, but they dropping in November. So we got from like November to February, but they stopped making. So yeah, oh yeah. When, when you where you pick that up at? Picked it up at GameStop. So it was uh taking my daughter shopping at the mall, whatever. And oh, that's what you, I thought you was talking. I thought you, it was something else they was telling you to get. No, that was it. So we're at GameStop and, and my daughter's like, Speaking get of. It. I'm like, no. Nah. She's like, you keep buying us everything. You don't buy yourself anything. I'm like, no, I'll wait till after. Speaking of pickups. Nice. nice, nice. Especially, I got some, I got some Japanese imports. And I told you I was excited for these. Nice. Which I ain't, I ain't seen on That one's back. This is the, uh, for my nerves, the hidden cloud village. I ain't never seen one of these out in the wild. Like, I never seen one. So Amazon just randomly had on. So you, can, you can even see, like, the dates. 0207. Like, I never seen one ever. Like, Never seen one of these ever until like Amazon just randomly like showed it to it like they were stock authentic and it's like you can even tell which one is which. This one's from the uh OG Naruto show because of the like how they got every like the logo so you can tell this is from shipping with the logos and stuff and it's just crazy. Like I got all the like regular Leaf Village one, but I never seen the cloud or the sound. Like I seen the sand and the mist village, but I never uh wanted those. Like I don't, I don't care about the sand and the mist. And then you know how much this goes online. Mm-hmm. And I I seen this in a uh I seen this in like a mom and pops uh, retro store for seventy five dollars. And if I want to, I can resell it for like three hundred. So. That one's hard to get, and then the Killzone collection. I don't know. I just been wanting to play through Killzone again. So, That's three. And I got one in the in my uh in my damn game game drawer, and then I had these imported. Nice. nice. Speaking on games, borrowed my XY Switch and I've been playing Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Bruh, oh, you finally got to play it? <laughs> I haven't finished it yet, and I got like four days to finish it. So I better hurry up and finish it before I got to send it back. Wait, you're, you're, I, thought, I thought your daughter was coming back for the concert. Well, I guess we're going to wait and see how this hurricane tramples. New Orleans. Otherwise, oh, I'm gonna have to try to make arrangements to get her to another airport. Or is the concert? When is the concert? Friday. Oh damn! Yeah. So it'll be after the the YouTube video gets released. Mm. 
I mean, before, before, before. So, yeah. But there's no bug system real quick. So, yeah, my daughter was like, you know, get it for yourself. I'm like, no, I'll wait. And she's like, fine, buy it for me. And I'm like, you don't even like Halo. She's like, I know, but I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> so, I ended up getting it. So, we have here the UNC. Yeah. So, the bag. Let's see what else. Yeah. All that came inside of it? Yeah. Damn. Some patches for the three. Yeah. You going to put them on a jacket? I don't know, man. I might just get the box and pack. I haven't seen it. I haven't decided yet. We have a journal. Mm-hmm. Keep your little notes on there. No war stories. And we have some picture art right here. Yeah, that's hard. Pretty dope, pretty dope. And then obviously the most important piece. The goat himself. The goat. The guy that Thanos would be scared of. <laughs> what you think the new game going to be about? Because like, they're not going after the books like I don't know what they could do in the new game. I mean, honestly, I don't remember. I, I finished Halo 5. I don't remember where we left off other than dealing with those fucking Guardian assholes. No, like, so when we be, like, when, when you beat Halo 5, you go, right, you know, Cortana. you don't even get to her. She gets away. Oh, yeah. And then uh, Guardian Lock lets you pass him or whatever. And like, and then everything goes to shit. But they, it's like a time skip from that. So it's just like, he does something in like right after that, which led to like another war. Like, he's been asleep for years. It's like a soft reboot. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he's still going to be searching for Gratana. Mm. I don't know, bro. I feel like they. Point. I don't even know. I feel like they're gonna run into the ground. But, there. but that's all. Right. But oh, so let me go and break your heart. Let me go in and break your heart before we get it, and then we be like, let's link up. There is no co-op day one. You can't see my face right now, but I'm pretty pissed off. I know. <laughs> I can feel the energy to the camera. <laughs> There is no co-op day one. So me and you, like, you know, yeah. What and and I was telling somebody that telling somebody just the other day, me and Marco play every Halo day. The only one we ain't never played was three because you know we knew each other, but we didn't know each other. But yeah. we still so we, we still up, we ended up playing it anyway. No, but we did it with the vid when when they released the vid masters achievements and stuff, we ended up linking up but ever since then though i don't care what it's been odst halo reach halo 4 5 day no, one we did play we did play halo 3 co-op together we didn't no, play day one play. I'm, I'm talking about day, day one, one. Day i'm one. talking about i'm talking about day one ever since me and you been 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 cool day one halo releases we link up that night after we both get it our time like we both install, we wait on the other before we even do anything, get in that party chat, and we, we link up and we play through half the story that night and then beat it the next day. And then we may go back later and play it on Legendary. Or but we play we play it by ourselves too. But day one is me and you. And the fact that that's I'm gonna on record and say that I beat every single Halo game on Legendary by myself. I think yeah. the only one I ain't beat on Legendary by myself was five. But five was yeah. fucking hard for no reason. Dude, five, they overpowered the Guardians on Legendary. Like, it yeah. was so stupid. How yeah. They got. I think that's the only one I ain't beat. Like, we was in the midst of that Master Chief collection playing it. And I think mm. uh, you sold your Xbox. Yeah. 
You sold this is the first time you sold it. Not the not when you got the PS5 and shit. But you know. and then after that I stopped playing Xbox. But uh when they uh when they're saying they're gonna release it as an update for the because it's a live service game, so it's just like you're gonna give a lot, you're gonna put something in the live service content for story mode when we're already paying $60 for something that should be there. Like that pissed me off. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm not in a rush to get none of it no more. Yeah, I'm, and I'm, ain't no telling I'm, when it's gonna, gonna be there. It. I'm gonna get the Xbox, I'm gonna get the Halo one. Oh, I was right. Look, and that's probably gonna be it. Naruto, it got the actual Naruto symbol. <laughs> Right. And then this one has the Naruto shipping symbol. <laughs> oh man, damn! I want to know how the warehouse even got these. But yeah, bro, like that when I when I when they say when they released it, I was like, you know how many fans still you just pissed off. Yeah. yeah, like they st- like you know how many fans still just only play Halo with their homie story mode, and that's it. They don't play no online, no nothing. They just simply get it for co-op. And it ain't got to be couch co-op no more. Just co-op. Yeah, like that's really just play it for the story. Exactly. Like, the story's still going to be there. And I don't like that the multiplayer is free to play. Like, you can buy, like, you can, like, say we don't buy the story. You can simply just get the multiplayer that's free to play and just mm-hmm. play the multiplayer and never touch the story. So you mean to tell we're gonna play sixty dollars for just story? That story better be long as fuck. Like yeah. you're like like the reason why JRPGs and stuff can get away with that stuff because they got side quests. It's long as fuck. Like a shooter is not gonna be that long. Mm-hmm. And like, and, but you know what though? What I've been seeing is you know Bungie, Microsoft, whatever. They it's three for three now. They change it and then they go back to the other thing. They change it and they go back to the other thing. They, they just stop trying to evolve gaming into what you think is cool. Just fucking release the goddamn game. Now, yeah, but it's corporations are trying to create new trends and new whatever and when they see they fail they go back to the original shit like they did with the whole game pass and all that i'm tired of they're they're trying these new things but what they're losing is the fan base that likes the way things are because they've been waiting for years they're only getting these casual people and it's just like they're not your main like hey like everybody's like on microsoft's nuts right now because of game pass and this is like everybody wants game pass to be on playstation and nintendo and all this shit and it's just like you're only you like the only reason y'all got game pass is because they wanted to compete with playstation plus so let's just get that out the way like playstation plus started and gave away games once a month and microsoft was started that with games with gold but it was mediocre games compared to playstation plus and then they stepped it up a little bit but then they started going with uh game pass and then now games with gold is suffering and mm-hmm. game pass you don't even get to keep the games like they take those games away and then everybody's saying microsoft got all these games because they waited like well, people fail to realize they saying Sony ain't got no games. Sony been releasing exclusive games once a month since the PlayStation 5 dropped. Before, actually. You no, know, for real. And they are top tier games. Like, and, and as a PlayStation, and I'm not just saying this as a fanboy, PlayStation gamers know whatever they, they attach their name to, that it's a high quality game. You may not like it, but whoever plays that game loves it. It's not no. Mm-hmm trash game like they're all good games like amazing games in their own way returnal the only reason i ain't started returnal is because the save file thing i thought you could save but a lot of people like that that they can save because it gives them that oh it's like they say it's like the first game since like 
old school Mega Man and those like twin stick shooters from like arcade days that really yeah. that really gave them like a rush and like damn I gotta beat this damn I gotta dodge all this stuff and as a 3D game like it, they said like they never played a game like that that reminds them of like old school game and then Returnal and people love it and they've been platinum it Ghost of Tsushima Miles any, anything Sony puts their name on it game of the year contender. And it's just like, you can't say that for Microsoft. But the only reason those games get praised is because you can go download them for free. I guarantee you, if they released all those games outside of Game Pass, nobody would buy them. Nobody would play those games. They don't even look... Not only that, but I mean, some people... You know, it takes money for me. I like playing my video games to relax on my day off, chill. Have they, say what? You're, you're muffled again. Okay. You know... I buy video games, whatever, and I play them on my day off when I'm relaxed and having a drink, whatever. Yeah. A lot of these games are releasing on the Game Pass. You got a short amount of time to fucking play it and finish it. Yeah. You know, people like me, I've been playing Marvel Ultimate Alliance since uh, July, mid mid to late July. Mm-hmm. We're now in September, coming up on September. I still haven't finished it because I don't have the time to do it because I got so much other shit to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That looks good. I know this shit. Look at my know this shit. Bro, look how clean his head looks. That looks good. The next episode, throwing this bitch. But people, yeah. people are like giving Sony a hard time. And this is like, y'all are asleep. Like, y'all are like, Y'all can't come at Sony when Sony Sony and Nintendo, when they throw their name on something, you getting a high quality game. Like and everybody's like, like, like Nintendo, like Nintendo don't care about graphics, but you finna get a good story, good gameplay, fine-tuned experience for the Switch. Made for the ground up. Same thing for the PS5. And it's just like the Xbox is on like. I have Game Pass on my PC and I still don't use it. And that shit, like, they want people to subscribe to Game Pass. It's just like, it's not all that. Like, it's not all that. Like, they're only, they, they, everybody's so stuck in this, like, super consumable society to where people don't even care about owning their stuff anymore. People don't care about buying stuff no more and it's getting sick. And it's like they expect everybody to do that, and that's not what gaming should go to. You know what I'm saying? Like gamers to what we talked about in one of the episodes about you know owning your music or owning your movies and shit like that. Like you know, people, oh, you know, um, there's some things that I want to own. I want to have a physical copy. Sometimes I do. I can't hear you. You get muffled again. You say sometimes you oh. want a physical. You sometimes you just want to have a physical copy. You don't yeah. Like, like, like vinyl made a comeback. Tapes are making a comeback. Like people, CDs, like people want their physical content again. And they're tired of like subscribing to all this streaming stuff and you don't own it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's just yeah, like, when, like for me, like I still love collector's editions. Like I love to buy a collector's edition of something because I have that product. Like, and even without the collector's edition, like just like the, these games I just bought, like play like this stuff right here, like I want to own, like I want to have it. I love and I like I love digital games too, like the convenience of it. But it ain't nothing like having that disc popping it in. And yeah. if you if, and and so many people who have Xboxes, you cannot sit here and tell me you all the games that's on Game Pass that you play, you would buy those games still without it. Like, for example, with me, you know, Halo has always been the one game that I always had the physical copy. Other yeah. than me selling my Master Chief Edition or the Halo 5 one when I sold my Xbox, I sold it together. You know, once I get this Xbox Series X, I'm probably going to end up buying the Master Chief Edition again just if I can have it. I'll probably yeah. end up having to buy Halo 5 just if I can have it again. I just didn't mm-hmm. feel like keeping it right now. But that's how that, that that's how I felt like uh like like with all my Kingdom Hearts and stuff and Final Fantasy like 
I want the physical of that just to just because mm-hmm. I have it. You know what I'm saying? And even, even with Halo, I still got all my Halos and stuff back there. Like, if you can see it in the corner over there. And, like, w- with PlayStation, every game that they get on PlayStation Plus, 9 to the 10, if you got it through PlayStation Plus, you either had it or you was waiting on the go or sell, but you was going to buy it regardless. Like, games mm-hmm. you get through PlayStation, you're going to buy it. Like, you're going to buy it. Or you done had it. Well, just for example, Mortal Kombat 11, which is mm-hmm. the latest one, ended up being on there for free. Mm-hmm. So rather than having to pay $60, $80 for it with all the download content, you got it free. Now you just paid, I think last month there was all the download content was on sale. So I paid 30 bucks to get all the download, downloadable characters. Yeah. So like Batman, like I I got rid of my mm-hmm. Batman copy, but when it came back, I uh mm-hmm. I went and got the finish the DLC stuff that I yeah. never got to finish, and and went and bought like the season I pass stuff. Done that. I need to do that. Yeah, like I went and got like most of the skins and stuff that I wanted, and and Fallout, like I had Fallout, but they gave it to us on what you call it. So I just re-downloaded mm-hmm. my season pass stuff. And check and play through it again. I had it added to the library. The Final Fantasy game. I haven't played the Final Fantasy game since Nintendo. Right. And I'm oh, 15. To try it. 15 is good. Um, like, pe- don't let the critics get like 15 was fun. I like I, I enjoy all Final Fantasies mm-hmm. for different reasons. But even even this month's game, you know, I downloaded I, I added to the library, I didn't download it yet. The tennis one. I have never in my life played tennis in real life or on a video game not even a mario tennis i never played it but i'm like you know what it's free let me try it fuck it yeah and even with like even when they give away sports games like on, on playstation like they're they're the good versions and stuff like they always give you 2k or sell it for a dollar you know what i'm saying like i think the only yeah. sports game they never gave us was madden madden yeah, and, yeah. and and I think that's because of the NFL, not because of some. Probably. But I've seen FIFA games. I've seen NBA 2K games. NHL games have been on there. Uh, but, 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 but another thing, Game Pass and stuff, like Game Pass, like, you know, they take away games. And you still pay the subscription. At least with PlayStation Plus, what they give you is... It's yours forever, and they take it well, like when it goes away. The last Gran Gran Turismo Sport, the very last one. Mm-hmm. It was uh, free for PS4 at one point. So now was it PS5? Was it Gran Turismo? I don't think I was it. I ain't never get it. When was it? It, it was free, like man, like a year and a half ago, two years. Oh, I probably I probably wasn't paying attention. Well, I'm waiting was, for the new one to come out. The new one, yeah. And did you see that it has ray tracing and stuff in the game? You know, Forza doesn't have ray tracing in the game. It only has ray tracing during, like, your garage, your garage when you're looking at a car. I've seen the videos on that shit. On which one? On the new Gran Turismo. Yeah, bro. That's I ain't never been excited for a Gran Turismo game as I am now. And and I'm and that's another thing about Sony, like. Everybody was like telling them to make a Forza Horizon type of game. And it's just like, why would they do that when they have a good game in Gran Turismo and they can just double down on that one and mm-hmm. make it better? And it's just like Gran Turismo, like, bro, when they release it and you, bro, it's going to look so good. The thing is, For- Forza is basically Need for Speed Underground where you can modify your car with a story behind it. Mm-hmm. You know? And that's what people want on Sony. I understand it because I've been saying for a, what, a couple of years they need to remaster Need for Speed Underground. And they need to do that in double edition. Yeah. So, I mean, they're doing it with Saints Row. Why not Grand Tur- I mean, Underground. They need to do mm. it Underground, man. And yeah. Yin Yang Twain song back. Yeah. Which one? Uh, What's the name? Not, it's not low. What fucking song is it? 
Yeah. We'll look it up later. But um uh, yeah. But uh I don't know. And then like word on the street is Sony's gonna double down on, on PS now, which is their streaming mm-hmm. stuff, and turn it into a game, which is already like game but game pass what they put games in it and take it away. It's just people and then you then you can download the like it's just like game pass and people just like People gotta stop hearing the word streaming and get and stop getting so uptight about that because that's mm-hmm. gonna be in game. Like no matter what you say. Streaming is coming to game and it's not bad. Like the stadia is immaculate when you play it. Um PS plus is immaculate. And when they and you can download, like say uh it's a game on PlayStation now that has a it's a PS4 game. You can download it to your PS5 or your PS4. The only things you can't download are the PS3 and PS2 games, which Sony, like, they just made it that way. But because yeah. PS Now is good and those are older games, you don't have to download it. Like, it works flawlessly. Like, I can get on my PS5 and play through Metal Gear on my PS5 through the streaming, but I still have my PS3, so I don't care. Mm-hmm. Like, if I didn't have well, my PS3... Uh, by the way... It, it's not it's little John get low. Yeah, that's what it is. I was say he ain't yeah. to I don't remember he ain't to the end. Ti's twenty four song was on it. You know who had the best soundtrack in the racing game? Uh, Dub Edition Midnight Club. I never could get into Midnight Club. Dub Edition was jumping. Mm. Yeah. They need to do that. There's a lot of things. Like, I, I did see something that they're going to bring back. It's supposed to be a new one, which is uh, Twisted Metal from PS1. PS, yeah, PS1. I never cared for Twisted Metal. That shit was dope, bro. I was like, I was like a, what do they call those? Derby game, a, a racing derby or whatever, where the cars are crashing into each other. Yeah, no, I know, um, but I just, this shit, I just that shit was like on steroids with fucking missile rockets and shit. <laughs> yep. Let's see, what else have I seen? So, Guns N' Roses. In concert. That shit was a good concert. Definitely a good concert. What and, concert? Uh, Guns N' Roses. Oh yeah, yeah. I've and seen the, your videos. The, you know, yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you like it? Was all yeah, was yeah. all the members there? Uh, I think three or four of the original members were. Okay, because I know I seen the video of Slasher, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know he's black. Yeah, he's half black. Yeah, I didn't like. I didn't know that till like a couple years ago. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like he, I don't know if he hid that on purpose, but that nigga, <laughs> that nigga hid that shit. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, you're, you know, considering the history of that band, I mean, that's probably one of the bands that you would have never thought they would have had a reunion. Yeah. Because of how bad it ended. You know, yeah. They really hated each other, so seeing them together was actually pretty dope. That's how I felt yeah. about seeing well Aerosmith never had a bad breakup, but like when I seen all of Aerosmith, I was just shocked. The when I seen Journey, I wish that uh the lead singer was there, but he never he's never come back. Yeah. Um oh well, speaking of all the bands, Charlie Watts from the Rolling Stones died. So R- Rolling Stones, you're still getting muffled. The uh, drummer, Charlie Watts from the Rolling Stones died. Damn, when was this? Today? Uh, like two, three days ago, four days ago. Damn, I ain't been looking at my new stuff. Damn. Yeah. Um. But unfortunately, I was I was able to take my mom to go see them. Yeah. Uh, some years ago, but it's crazy. Your mom still goes to like all these rock concerts and shit. I took her to go see Snoop Dogg before the pandemic. Yeah, I remember that one. You sent me videos of that one. <laughs> Oh, the Ice Cube, but I don't know if I'll be able to go to that one just because I got some things coming up. When but, is uh, when is Snoop? When is Ice Cube? Uh, October. 
like mid October. I bet you that that concert be jumping though. Yeah. So, I want to see them live. Next time I come to Cali, we gotta. Next time I come to Cali, we gotta go to the concert. Let me know, man. Let me know. I went at the wrong time. Like literally, nothing was going on. No concerts. No nothing except for E3. That sucked. Um, I don't even remember if there was anything. I know there was it was nothing during the time. You need to go there wasn't no game. game. It wasn't no Dodger game when I went. There's always Dodger games. Bro, when I went, you didn't like you would have told me. When I went, I didn't plan anything because I had I think I was coming in from San Francisco down. No, I'm talking about graduation. when I came out there. I'm talking about when I came out there with you. You didn't say nothing about yeah. no Dodgers game. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, I didn't think I planned anything during that time because I had other things going on, and yeah. So next time we'll, we'll plan it, whatever. I'll go back to LA. We'll hit up a Dodger game, or whatever. Or if there's a country here, there's a little country here. And we'll figure some out. Get things popping. All right. I don't think that's. All for today. We got anything else we have to touch on? I don't know. That's what I was trying to think for. Uh, we think. call it quits. Yeah. Uh, trying to think. Mm. I, I make you. I don't think it's going to show up on the recording. You got to make you. Keep it. It. I make you like this. But uh, you I guess we. Can, <laughs> I guess we can call it quits. Uh, all right, y'all. That has been episode tray three tree. Uh, it is three, right? We are on three. That yeah, this is episode three. All right. So when you see it, when they episode see it, three. it's coming out Saturday. So when three. they see it, cool. and then two weeks from now, we're going to hopefully... Nothing else happens. Let me see the dates. Such is life. Huh? Such is life. Yeah, if life happens like it did this last time, then, you know, we can't control that. But let me see. Come on. Saturday is the fourth. Life happens. Titties flip and flop. So we should so we should either record we should record we gotta record the after the fourth. Anytime after the fourth we gotta record. But it so it can release the eighteenth. All right. Sounds good. We'll um, be able to touch on Shang Chi. Yeah. Hopefully uh they release it over Disney Plus. Oh yeah, after and after, and after yeah, after this release, Shang Chi will have came out. So hopefully, you know, when y'all watching this, we we all went to go see Shang Chi, and it's actually amazing. And then you um, saw what if two, three? Yeah, I'm gonna when I, when I end this episode, when I, as soon as I end it, I'm turning on what if, and I'm watching both because I ain't got nothing to do tomorrow, and. I gotta release the anime up uh, anime podcast that me uh and I wanna try to uh do something yeah, you with know me. what you should start doing? You should start what? Doing, like like critique videos about you know anime porn. Anime porn? No nigga. Okay. Bro, you trying to get me booted off YouTube. Like what I'm supposed to be like, well see how how he used his schlong. In the in the in the uterus did not get me off correctly. So now, no nigga, get the fuck out of here. Ass and titties, ass and titties, bro. No, that's what all them other weird anime tubers talk about. I'm not gonna be that. I'm not that. All right, I already. I hate. I hate how anime niggas are simp as is. So I'm definitely not gonna do the same shit. They do. man, anime niggas are simp, and I. That's that's what I need to talk about real quick. Anime niggas, stop being simps. Let me listen, bro. Stop being simps, okay? Y'all niggas, stop hyping up a fucking cosplayer just because they're showing some ass and tits and a bikini. That's not cosplaying. They're just doing it for likes. They'll never date y'all. 
They don't they they would never like y'all and they don't want y'all. And y'all are giving them money, hyping them up, and getting them a following for no reason. Stop that. It is trash. Anything that walks, stop Googling. Oh, like stop fucking googly eyes over all them. It's stupid and it's sad. And you look desperate as fuck, nigga. You sorry as shit. Stop that shit. I had to get that out because the niggas that I see <laughs> in them damn anime forums, bro, all they do is post all these cosplayers and they're not even cosplaying. When women that's actually over here cosplaying, actually showing off a dope ass, fire ass cosplay and shit, not getting no love. But let a bitch be fucking half naked and they fucking drooling over that shit. I hate that shit. That shit is awful, man. And half the time, the women that they Google eyes over don't even watch anime. Don't even like anime. They're only doing it because it's a following in it. And it's fucking sad. All these so girls that play... Anime cosplay or they just cosplay in general? Cosplay in general. Okay, because, I mean, you got characters like Psylocke, which is... No, and team. now that's the thing. Some girls, in, like most characters, are like overly sexualized. But dress like that. If you're going to do it, dress like that. And that's acceptable because that's how the character dress. But nine out of ten, the person that's dressing up as a character is only doing it because they have a body and they know that. And and they're only doing or, it or, for or, niggas or to like thirst when, over. <laughs> when they do like the sexy Darth Vader. like dude, Darth Yeah, Vader that today. shit is suck. That's not sexy Darth Vader. Like, give me a fucking suit, like, suit up as Darth Vader. If you're a female, suit up as Darth Vader, and I respect you a whole lot more. Showing your body off does not, does not make me happy. Like, you're just doing that for likes. And then they have the audacity to be like, just because I dress like this does not entice you to come at me like that. Bitch, if you dress like a hoe, you're going to get treated like a hoe. And that's what it is. Stop doing that shit, and you will stop getting niggas to do, like, stop getting niggas to fucking drool over you like that. Second off, they hate when niggas hop in their inbox, thirsting over them, and you fucking set up the fucking you 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 throw it out there for that, and it's just like you're doing it to yourself. Stop. And then well, these niggas I mean, that and then, and then and then and then hold on, hold on. and then, then the girls that fucking play video. No, 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 no. And then the girls that play video games. No, stop, stop. Let me finish. The girls that play video games that know they suck at video games. That only do it because they can just show their titties on the stream. That's trash too because all they're doing is just, oh my God. I'm, I, I, and then niggas is throwing twenty hundred dollars and fifty dollar bills at it. And I'm not salty. Get your money, but stop coming into our space doing that shit. When you can go somewhere else and do OnlyFans to do that shit. That's trash as fuck. And you get mad when niggas gatekeep and get mad at females like, oh, can you do this as in third? Of course, niggas gonna act like that because half the time when they run into a female doing that shit, they not really about it, and they literally okay. and like literally TikTok so would expose. Now let me say this. Now let me say this. You said your piece. Now let me say this to the whole. Just because you dress like a hoe, you're gonna get treated like a hoe. Understand? People have different ways they want to dress. Does not give a man the right to disrespect the female. Just You're because, right, on, but no, I get I, that, I, and I'm not I mean, saying. I just like to dress and show off the body. That's fine. Does not mean that that's calling for them to be disrespected. So let's put that out there. If they're well, calling for that. attention like that, that's different. But, you know, to the other spectrum, women, some women just like show off the body. That's fine. And they still gotta be respected you know i got two daughters if one of them decides to want to dress with short shorts does not give a dude the right to disrespect i'm gonna again i know that and not saying that all of them do it but there is ones that go out of their way i'm not talking about the females that get dressed up and go to the club you going to the fucking club of course they're gonna dress like you know, show some skin. You go into the club. I'm talking about the women who do it every day just to sit at home and yet get mad at niggas sending them dick pics and shit 24-7 when you're constantly showing half-naked body pictures saying this cosplay and shit produce the thirst over you. It's two totally different spectrums. The girls who are going to the club getting dressed up like that, 
they going to the fucking club. Of course, I'm a DJ, so I already know what comes with that. You going to the club. Of course, you trying to show some ass. You're going to shake that ass, especially if you single and you with your bitches. Of course. I'm talking about the ones who come into our space, this nerd space, do that so niggas can simp over them and thirst over them and then get mad at the dudes who do that. And I'm not even mad at the females no more. I'm tired of the niggas overly thirsting over these same girls and yet they can't even pull a girl like that. They can't even get a girl to look like that. And yet they constantly posting these females. And I hate when dudes tag me in pictures. Like, say, like, you know me, if I like a female character in a show, I genuinely just like her because she's a badass. Not because she's fucking hot and attractive. I'm tired of niggas tagging me and shit. Showing me some sexual bikini picture of a character I posted. And I'm just like, bro, that, I don't like that. Like, that's not, like, I don't, I don't find that. A, you know what I'm saying? And half the time, these anime characters like, be fucking Like everybody bitchy. doing the, the sexy Velma. Yeah, like exactly, like it's shit like that, like that, like, and they're only <laughs> doing it. Never saw Scooby Doo because Velma was never sexy, bro. But it's just the fact that like everybody finds her sexy now because glasses and quirky girls are in. So now all these thick girls throwing on glasses and they're saying, "Oh, sexy Velma," and it's just like, get the fuck out of yeah, here. But that's my point, though. Velma was never thick, sexy. Exactly, and but in my point is, is like people are only doing it now because it's cool to be a nerd and it's cool to be weird now. So all these females are seeing that way and they're jumping into it, wanting a bag. And it's like these dudes got to stop. Like I hate sense. I hate dudes that thirst over females and they never gonna get these females. These females don't want you. And then they get go and then they get mad because that female not showing them attention. And it's just like stop. And they're like, oh, and then that's when and it say, makes you look hey, desperate. Fuck you, bitch. You think you're, yeah, you know, like as soon as the female, you. as soon as the female snooze on it, it's like, fuck you, bitch. You ain't fine anyway. Like you suck my dick hole. And it's like, why are you reacting like that when she didn't want you in the first place? When she ain't never gonna look at you, nigga. She never yeah. gonna look your way. I like, and that's my thing about like, especially in today's time. I hate. I don't even talk. Like I hate talking to females. I hate looking at because like. You always got to, like, compete with other niggas, and they don't even want you. They want somebody up here that they can't even get, and then they only get them because that dude wants to fuck them, and then the, whoever the dude really want, he be in love with that bitch. And then they get mad, and they see, you know, it's a whole bitter cycle. And it's just like they all come into all these different circles and these different spaces. Like, don't come into the anime gaming world and bring all that shit over here. Like, keep that over there. And I and I hate and I know like all these dudes, this game, the gamers and nerds just want to like want a gaming girl or want to nine out of ten. If you meet a cool chick who's legit interested in you, interested in you, she will watch anime with you just because she wants to know why you watch it so much. She will play the game with you just to see which well, what's so interesting to it about you. Like why are you it's so interested in play, it? It's thought play. And like the girl, like nine out of ten dudes could find a girl. Bro, nine out of ten, a dude could find a girl to cosplay with him. If they stop looking at those bitches, those unattainable bitches, and look in your actual swimming pool. And uh somebody that's actually trying to like talk to them and pay them attention and actually interested in them, they are probably they're nine out of ten. You can make you will find you a girl and she'll cosplay and game with you. All day long, if you give her a chance, because she's legitimately interested in me. But you sitting over playing, I just do this for professional reasons. No, but but I'm saying though, like 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 I know what you're saying. I know why you do. I'm not saying you because the type of people you probably going out to ain't like you like like say you like you date women who like Marvel stuff and who will watch that shit with you. You see what I'm saying? Like me, like I like if I'm gonna talk to a female. She know what come what come with me, and nine out of ten, she probably interested in, but she don't know where to start. And so I sit her down and show her, and the next thing you know, we're watching all these anime and shit, and anime movies and stuff, and TV shows, and then got a bond. But dudes are looking at all these unattainable bitches, and they unhappy. 
thinking that they deserve that when they don't because first off they're dusty and musty but second off they look de- desperate and women dusty and musty hey that's the next shirt right there bro listen <laughs> and nine out of ten a woman that actually is interested in you and she sees all that she's not gonna shoot her shot she's not gonna pay you no attention if you look desperate for every other female why would she even like waste her time with you if you just thirsting over every female that walk with a vagina like it's sad it's sad and it's just like another thing niggas go out to females that they want to control and tang with if you see her doing all that what you think she's gonna be a, a home a, a stay-at-home wife that don't want to show off her body to, every, to the whole world like she's already seeking validation from other men in social media, why do you think just because you're dating her, she she gonna stop this shit? If you see her, dusty and musty patent shirts, bro, come on now. If you see her showing off her ass or going to the club every weekend, and you think she's not gonna go to the club while dating you, mm-hmm. like you stupid. So why even go after that? Like dudes are stupid. And it's pissing me off. And it's getting to the point to where, like, you got to check them because it's getting out of hand. And they wonder why all these women got ego boosts and stuff because y'all boosting them up. Y'all boost up all these women that don't, that you know nowhere near, that's probably two, three hundred miles away from you and live in Atlanta and fucking two rappers and six basketball players. And you think she going to stop and play with you. And all these girls on the internet that cosplay and stuff, you really think they want a real nerd? No, they want a nigga with money. Or nine out of ten, if a nigga, if a if a nerd got a bad bitch, nine out of ten, he paying for all her cosplay shit. He going through his fucking inheritance money, trying to make her happy just so she can go with the next nigga and cheat on you. Like, it just pissed me off, and I I, I need to say my piece because I see it more and more every day. No, I see it every day in all these forums. And like when I go to bro, when I go to this con in October, watch what I tell you. And I'm like, it's sad as fuck how these niggas say. As if COVID don't cancel it. I feel like COVID gonna fucking cancel it because the damn Delta variant. Because people are stupid. That's people are beyond stupid now. Off. People are fucking stupid believing all the fucking fake shit about the vaccine and shit. Bro. But whatever. Now you're gonna get into and that and listen, remember I told you that the vi- like I could get I could have a sickness crisis from the uh vaccine. My sister got it because she. People, there's a lot of people. That my have, sister got the vaccine because she works in a hospital and she had a crisis. Like, and she don't even know what's all in it. And she had a crisis stuff, and I was right. And my doctor was like, "Don't take it." And like, she not even nowhere near allergic to all the stuff that I'm allergic to in the medical mm-hmm. field. And I know that shit gonna have me in the hospital if I take it. Mm-hmm. But that's another story for another day. So, good day. Yep. You just keep wearing your mask, be protected. No, I stay masked up. Uh, give it up there. And then get too much into the rest of the masses. So. Yeah. All right. And no, I'll call it a day. Call it a night. <laughs> We'll be back. All right, y'all. It been it's been fun, it's been real. Lunar and the professor. We out. We out. <laughs>